What's up guys, today we're doing this uh, clock folding simulation and this is gonna be a real quick one so make sure you're ready and let's get started. First I created a plane, I scaled it up and I made it look like a tape or something. Then I went into edit mode and I gave it a bunch of loop cuts so it makes the folding better and two loop cuts in the middle. Then I selected the outer vertices on the left side and assigned them to a new group. For control purposes I created an empty object, just some plane axis and I positioned it on the left side of the tape. I selected my plane and then I added a cloth modifier to it and also I added a hook modifier and make sure your hook modifier is above your cloth modifier. Select your empty object and then select your vertex group that you created so the empty acts as a control. Under cloth properties search for the shape option and also select your vertex group and as you can see our concept is already working. The only thing you have to do now is animate your empty object um, to control your cloth and how it's falling down and I did it in this way but feel free to be completely creative here. Um, it took a while to figure out the perfect animation. I just did it with some keyframes, I didn't use a path or something, you could also do that. Please don't forget to add a collision modifier to the ground plane that you have here and also activate self collision for your cloth in the cloth properties menu. As you can see here I rotated the empty object at the end to make it fold more naturally and after that I just added some subdivision surface modifier and also solidify modifier to it to make it look more beautiful. And by the way if you want to get mentored by me or need any help or tips with your projects and discuss some career options what you should do what you can do make sure to check out my patreon because I made a new membership option for you and um, of course you can cancel it anytime if you don't need it anymore but yeah feel free to check it out and back to a tutorial as you can see I just played around with the textures I used the Voronoi texture here to give it a modern kind of look and I also tried around with some hair particle system but in the end I didn't like it so I went without it but feel free to be creative and this might be my shortest tutorial ever but Never stop blending, never stop being creative and see you soon guys, bye.